Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick, simple example of the selection sort algorithm. So, <clears throat> this is a sorting algorithm for sorting a list of numbers. So, we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how the list gets updated after individual passes. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to keep track of the smallest remaining number. We're going to go element by element and then find the smallest remaining number and then swap them. So here is our list of numbers. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to start off with the eight. All right, and then from there, we're going to search the rest of the list. Okay, and then we're going to start off with the first number of the rest of the list. We're going to assume that six is the smallest remaining number. And then we're going to look at seven. Is that smaller than six? No. Look at five. Is that smaller? Yes. So that's the smallest remaining number. Look at the three. Is that smaller? Yes. So we're going to replace that with three. And so now we're going to do our swap. The three and the eight are going to get swapped. Okay, and then once they have been swapped, then you're going to have our updated list of numbers, and that is what it looks like after the first pass. All right, so now we're going to begin the second pass, and we're going to continue. This time we're going to start with 6, because 3 is already in the correct position, and then we're going to find the smallest remaining value in the list. So we'll start off by assuming that 7 is the smallest, and then... We will examine the five. And since that's smaller, that will become our new smallest. Then we'll examine the eight, and that's not smaller than the five. So the five is the value we're gonna swap with. So the five and the six are gonna get swapped. So let's update our list. And that's the end of the second pass. All right, so now we're gonna to advance to the seven. And then we're gonna examine the rest of the list. The three and the five are in the correct positions. We'll start off with six, assume that's the smallest remaining number. And then we'll examine the eight. Well, since eight isn't bigger than six, then six is gonna be the smallest remaining number. And then we're gonna swap the six and the seven. Right. And so let's update our list. And that's the end of the third pass. And you can see that the list is sorted. So we are done. That's it.